Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about what I have here in front of me, the Nightwatch Bedbug Monitor. And this is one of the active Bedbug Monitors that's available on the market that you can purchase that releases attractants that will hopefully attract hungry bed bugs to this monitor. And it's a way to evaluate if, say, you have a problem or not inside somebody's home or office or school, whatever the case may be. Now, in today's episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly talk to you about how you set the monitor up and what it's intended to do. And then I'm going to talk about where I see it fitting in and some minor issues that we have encountered with this monitor that you should be aware of. So that way, if they happen, you kind of know, you know, what you're looking at. Okay, so as I said, what we have here in front of me is the Nightwatch Active Bedbug Monitor. And as I said, it's a monitor that releases attractants that brings bedbugs to the monitor itself. So let's quickly talk about the different components of the monitor and how to set it up, and then we'll talk about where it fits in. So here you have, you know, the base of your unit, and it has this cover on top of it here. And what you're going to do is you're first going to take your ramps... So as you can see, the bugs will walk up this ramp and fall into these wells. There's nothing in those wells. Um, and what they're intended to do is the bugs fall in and they can't get out. We get a lot of questions of people asking if they can apply talc powder inside those wells to help keep the bugs in them. You could if you want to. You just want to make sure that it's a nice light dusting. And again, it's not intended to have talc in it, but if you want to apply it to play on the safe side, you definitely could. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take the two ramps and you're going to slot them in to the side of this unit. And so what's going to happen is the bugs are going to be attracted to the unit. They're going to walk up the ramps into those wells and get stuck. Okay. What it's also going to come with is a plug. And, of course, you're going to plug the plug into the front of the unit. Then you're going to plug it into your closest outlet. Now, when that happens, a timer is going to come up right here on the unit. And it's going to say, Time Set. Whenever you set this monitor... You want to make sure that you set it to whatever time it is when you set it. And what this monitor is intended to do is it's intended to start releasing attractants at 10 p.m. at night and then turn off and stop releasing those attractants at 6 o'clock in the morning. And that way this monitor is releasing the attractants when the bugs are supposedly active. Alrighty, so what else you're going to do is you're going to take one of these chemical attractant packages and they just come in clear and in black. And what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these packages, you're going to remove this foil seal on it, which it says right on the seal, remove uh, before use. And you're going to take it, and you're going to place it on this little tab right here, and it sits right in place. You're going to take this cover, and place it right on top of the unit. And as this warms up, it's going to warm that package up, and it's going to release that chemical attractant. What's in here is a chemical attractant that the bugs are supposedly attracted to. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take the cylinder, remove the cap, and what's going to be in one of these cylinders is carbon dioxide. These are cylinders that you can commonly buy associated with paintball guns and paintball products. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it in here, you're going to screw it into the actual valve here, or actually the, the spot where it attracts, and you're going to go all the way in until you hear it nice and secure in there. You're going to keep going until it's all the way in. Now... What you have is your monitor ready to go. At this point, you're going to plug it in, you're going to set your timer, and off you go. Just so you're aware, this will make a slight pinging sound every five or so seconds once it does turn on at 10 o'clock at night. So don't be alarmed if you hear, a, as I said, a ping sound every uh, five to 10 seconds. I forget what exactly the release rate is, but either way, every couple seconds you're going to hear that sound. That's the monitor actually working. And that's more or less how you set the monitor up. It's really no more complex than that. You have your ramps in place, your chemical attractant, your carbon dioxide. The bugs are going to come to it and hopefully fall in the wells. And off you go. So, that's how you set the monitor. Now, this monitor, as a, there's a few things you should always be aware of with any active bed bug monitors. Remember that these are not going to attract every bed bug in a given infestation. This is going to attract hungry bed bugs to it, typically. And not all hungry bed bugs are necessarily going to be attracted to this monitor. So if you set it in a unit, always remember that a zero trap catch does not necessarily mean that you don't have bed bugs. So if you go set it and you don't find anything the next day, that doesn't necessarily mean you don't have a problem. It just means that no bugs were attracted to this. This is just intended to help you determine if you think you might have a problem. 
And where this fits in ideally is in vacant apartments, or offices or schools, places where there isn't somebody normally sleeping, where this is the only thing attracting those bugs. And then what that's doing is optimizing the chance that you collect bugs. We have used this though in many occupied apartments where somebody's sleeping right next to the monitor. And we have effectively caught bed bugs in low level bed bug infestation. So this can be used effectively. And what you're gonna do is remember, whenever you're using this, you wanna follow the manufacturer directions. So please read the manufacturer directions and it'll tell you how long it's supposed to run for. Depending on the size of the cylinder that you screw into it, depends on how long this monitor will run, five days, four days, three days, six days, whatever the case may be. So again, always read the manufacturer instructions in regards to this monitor. So that's intended, kind of where I see this fitting in, and that's how you're supposed to use this. Remember to read the instructions. Now, as I said, we have been successful in collecting bed bugs in low-level infestations, which is a very good thing. Now, some issues that we have encountered that you should be aware of, these cylinders occasionally do get clogged. And so what you want to do is if you screw this in, you know, it runs for the five days and you take this out to replace it and it's still full of carbon dioxide, the valve may be clogged and you may have to contact the manufacturer of this cylinder to get it replaced or serviced. In addition, you know, we have had the low CO2 light come on. You'll, when you read the directions, you'll see that when it says CO or whatever the designation is here on this screen, on the timer screen, that means that this cylinder is low on carbon dioxide. We've had that light come on when this is not low on carbon dioxide. If you encounter that problem, please contact the manufacturer and they'll help you deal with any other issues. And there are a few other minor issues. If you do ever encounter any issues with this device, please be sure to contact the manufacturer and they can walk you through how to deal with it. You may have to mail it back to them. It may be something you can do to fix it. All right, everybody. So that is the Nightwatch bed bug monitor. We went through quickly how to set it up. Please remember that whenever you're setting this up to read the manufacturer directions and if you have any questions with any issues you encounter to please call the manufacturer and they can walk you through it. Remember, a zero trap catch does not necessarily mean you don't have bugs, but it's more to, intended to help you determine if you have a problem. Alrighty, everybody, and if you do catch bugs inside these wells, I forgot to mention, you can just go ahead and usually what we do is actually just dump them into the toilet and flush the toilet. You could also dispose of them in an outdoor trash receptacle if you had to. Alrighty, alright, if you have any questions about the Night Watch or any other topic we talk about on Bedbug TV, please email me, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I'll be happy to get back to you on any questions you have. Alright, everybody, see you soon enough.